To change the filter in your GE over the range microwave, follow these steps. Begin by verifying the model number of your microwave. To order a replacement filter, go to geapplianceparts.com. If you have any questions, you can call 1-800-GE-CARES. The first step in changing the filter is to unscrew the two screws above with a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you keep track of these. They will need to be put back in afterwards. If the unit was improperly installed, the cabinetry above the unit may hide these screws. The unit will need to be uninstalled to have access to the screws. Next, remove the grill by sliding it about 3 eighths of an inch to the left and then pull it forward. If there is a filter already in your unit, remove it by pushing it back all of the way, lifting the front edge up and sliding the filter out. Insert the new filter. Push the filter all the way back with the edge of the filter hitting the back two tabs. Then pull the front edge down so that it rests at an angle and the front edge hits the bottom of the cavity. The filter will fit snugly. Do not be afraid to pull down with some force. Now it is time to replace the grill. Align the bottom tabs with the correct slots and make sure the top tabs are underneath the metal wrap. Push the grill forward towards the unit then slide the grill to the right. Replace the two screws and you will have successfully changed the charcoal filter. When reinstalling the screws, use a hand screwdriver only and tighten just until snug. Checklist Verify the microwave model number. The grill slides to the left to remove. Change the filter and make sure it is fully inserted. Reinstall the grill. Make sure the tabs are in the appropriate places and replace the screws.